Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're going to show you how to install a printer in Windows 8.1. So maybe you have a new computer but you still have an old printer. Um, and when I say old, I don't mean 12 years old. There's a pretty good chance that a 10 or 12 years old printer will not work in Windows 8. You can still try it though because there are exceptions to the rule but most printers that are probably five years or more uh, may not have drivers but like I said you should try it before you never know so the best thing to do if you don't have a Windows 8 CD that came with your printer that you can insert like for example I've got a LaserJet P1505 here now that printer does not have a Windows 8 CD with it um, the operating system accepted by that printer is Windows 7 at most on the CD. So what do you do? Well, just plug it in and that's what I'll do right now. I'll plug my printer in a USB port here on my computer. Here we go. Normally you should hear a little sound. I just heard it through my earphones. I think you can't hear it through this program. And that means that it's detected the printer. Usually, if you click the desktop, you might actually see in the bottom right of your screen a little icon that says that it's trying to find a new piece of software, and you let it go. Usually, you'll see a sequence of events that's going to appear. It's going to say, well, okay, I'm trying to uh, find this printer. If you want to see if it's installed or if it's installing, you can uh, simply go to the charms bar on the right side of your screen. And there, just type printer. And you will actually see device settings. And here you should check for printers. Now you see that my printer is uh, in other devices here. Normally printers should be in printers. Now because it's in other devices, it means that it might not have a driver for it. So the best way is to actually open WordPad or Word and try to print something. For example, I'll open here the WordPad. Do a little test and go into File and then into Print. If I click Print, now I see that my printer is not there. So what you'll need to do is go back into that Device Manager thing. So click search, once again, printer, go to device settings, and you see that little plus sign on the top says add a printer or add a device. So you'll click that plus sign right there. And it's going to search for devices that are on your computer. Now, some printers have drivers that come from the Windows Update downloads and these are usually very easy to install and they should install quite well. Now if your printer stays in that section that says other, keep in mind that it's not installed, it's not an other device, it's a printer so it has to be in the printer uh, area here in Windows. It says no device found. So what you'll do is go to the website of your printer's manufacturer. So for example, mine is an HP printer. So what I'll do, I'll simply go on the web and over there I'm going to click the address bar and go to the HP website. So for example, here's hp.ca. Uh, if you have a Canon, you just go to Canon.com, or if you're in the United States, HP.com. If you're um, an Epson, Epson.com. So uh, just try it. It's better to type it directly in the address bar and not to Google it because in Google there's uh, 
a chance that you might go into a wrong website and download malware. So here you've got this uh, page for HP. I'll click support and you see that it says download and drivers in the first one so I'll click there. Enter the project name or number so here is a printer that's a laser jet P1505. Depending on the website where you go things are can be different but you need to go to either uh, support or solutions or if you see driver downloads click there and at some point you'll have to find your printer model number and there we'll go laser jet whoops laser jet so here it says HP laser jet B1505 printer I'll click on that and here you will probably be sent to a place where you need to check your operating system here it says Windows 8.1 64 bits so I'll, it's already chosen for me which is pretty cool click next select a download below and here's the driver one driver host based plug and play basic driver so I'll download this and install this driver now while you are installing a driver software it is best to unplug the printer from your USB port. Sometimes having a uh, undiscovered uh, printer in Windows plugged in might interfere with the um, driver install sequence. Uh, a lot of drivers will actually go through a sequence and then ask you to uh, install or plug in. So s follow the instructions closely. Here we install the driver, as you see here, pre-installing the driver files. And you see here it asks me, well, plug your printers. So here I am, I'm going to plug it in. Here it goes. And now it's continuing. Thank you for HP products. Finish. Installation is complete, apparently. So how do we know that? Well, go into your charms bar click printer go to device settings and now you see that my laser jet p1505 is in the printer section and not in other devices so it's very important that it's in the right area of your computer so once you see your printer there in the printer section it should work number one now, if it doesn't install because you don't have the disk and if you don't see any Windows 8 drivers in your um, in the website, there's a good chance that it uh, doesn't work in Windows 8. Like I said, a more than five year old printer might not work in Windows 8.1. And before you say, well, you know, the hell with Microsoft, my printer isn't working. Uh, the problem isn't Microsoft, the problem is your manufacturer. You know, printers are so cheap today that if they have a new operating system to install, they don't want to make the drivers. They want you to buy a new printer. And that's the biggest problem today. So hopefully um, I've helped you um, go through the steps on installing a printer in your computer. And uh, hopefully, if, even if it's an old printer, you have drivers that are available for Windows 8. So thanks for watching. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe to our channel and you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, let us know. And uh, maybe you have a printer, you're not sure if it's available for Windows 8.1, you can ask away, maybe someone or maybe myself will answer and say, oh yeah, you've got drivers, just go to the website. But uh, try to find the uh, drivers. Um, and if it's a fairly new printer, by the way, I would suggest that you go to the website before plugging in, plugging in. But you know what? A lot of printers that I've seen in um, different clients actually install by themselves just by plugging in. So I think that plugging in and waiting for Windows to uh, detect and install it might be the first step and the easiest step 
And if it doesn't work and if it doesn't, um, you can see it in printers then. Go to the website of your manufacturer. So thanks for watching. If you have any uh, suggestions or maybe um, some feature of Windows 8 you'd like us to make a video because you don't understand it, please, please ask away and we'll try to put that video online. So thanks for watching. Hope that you come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Bye-bye.